Hey guys, it is D here. Today's video is Awesome Minecraft Survival House. It's number 31, and today we have the, well, I guess this is like a jack o' lantern, a jack o' lantern house slash pumpkin house. And a lot of you guys asked me to build this. That's actually one of the most suggested things for the Halloween theme, even since the Ender Dragon one. And it makes sense because it's Halloween, and, you know, pumpkins. <laughs> and it took me a while because I didn't really know how to make it, I guess, to make it look good. Because it was just kind of hard to do, but that's what I think is about this house. Not about the complexity, it's about the ingenuity and the things that I use to make it look the way it is. And I think it came out pretty awesome. Like I'm gonna try elaborating a little bit more on how I make the houses. So I started off building the pumpkin using wool and some other stuff, and it looked terrible. <laughs> so I just destroyed it, and then I made a new face, and this is the face I came up with. And then I used orange wool, and it, it looked just so cheap and like you know not that good. So what I decided to do was use pumpkins, but facing them backwards. So I had to place all the pumpkins like this. So I had to build the whole thing from inside out, and that's how I did it. I did it. I did it because that way, it, you know, the pumpkin's face wouldn't be on the outside, and that gave it the pumpkin texture, which looks awesome, and it looks like a pumpkin, you know. Rather than this texture, it does not look that good once you make it at a full form. It looks really bad. So I used this, and it looks a lot better. And for the lava, I'll have a picture on the screen right now of what it looked like. Like I said before with the eyes blacked out and I thought that looked awesome but I thought okay a, a jack-o-lantern doesn't look like that jack-o-lantern once you light it up it looks brighter on the inside than it does in the outside like the orange you know and I sat here for like 10 minutes and thought okay how can I make it brighter orange on the inside so I used wool and that looked terrible and then I decided okay and then I figured out an idea I thought of lava and I thought how can I get the lava to stay in these areas and I tried to build like an eyeball case with glass and that looked terrible and then I ended up coming with an idea to have a, like a free-flowing stream of lava embedded underneath here. I'll show you guys that in the tutorial if you guys want to see it. As always, if you guys want to see the tutorial, just hit the like button and let me know in the comments below. You guys know the drill. And I'll try and get out as soon as possible. The Hero Brand one should be out um, maybe by Monday or Tuesday. You guys seem to love that. I guess you guys are as twisted as I am because you guys love that. I thought everybody was going to be I don't know. I, did, I didn't get, think I was going to get the response that I did. A lot of you guys loved it. I'm really glad about that. So that will be out probably on, like I said, Monday, Tuesday-ish. I'll try and get it as fast as possible. I want to get all these out before Halloween because there's no point doing a Halloween series. Not gonna be if you can't build them before Halloween. Um, but yeah, so that's how I did this, and I put a layer of lava behind this. I can show you guys that in the tutorial if you want to see it. And I think that was really cool. So like I said, it's about the ingenuity in this house. It's really not like that complex. It's just about like how I came up with the utensils to make it look like a pumpkin. And I actually built the stem too, but the stem looked like super derpy and like uncomfortable. So I decided to just um, build the regular stem you see on the regular pumpkins. I think it looks good like that. But let's go and get, go on the inside. The inside is not like insane, but the inside has a lot more room than the Hero Brand did, obviously. And that's why I think this this is gonna have the benefit of building this house is that all of these special type houses normally don't have that much space. This one actually has quite a bit of amount, like, quite a bit of uh, space, you know, to actually have a house in. And here I can show you guys the uh, the pumpkins, like I was saying. <laughs> it actually has a good amount of space, so you can actually you know do whatever you want down here. You can honestly make it three floors. I just made it two for you know just make it easier. But you could easily make it three floors if you wanted to, to have more than one person living here or whatever. And yeah, this is the upstairs, simple bedroom, nothing crazy. I got the windows, there's so you know, some natural light. But um, let's get back outside where it really kind of matters. Sadly, I did mine on a freaking flatbed roll, only like three blocks high off the ground. So I ran into this bedrock issue. Uh, and the, yeah, I didn't make the door right in front because I just thought that would have kind of messed with the design. I thought about making it on the side, but then it wouldn't have made sense to have this like sick walkway with the pumpkins and everything. So I decided to make it underground. I think it turned, it, it turned out better, actually. But um, anyway, that's it, guys. Again, if you guys want to see the tutorial, hit the like button, comment, share, favorite, post it on MySpace, <laughs> whatever you got to do. Uh, just let me know, and it helps me out a lot. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys always in the next one. Adios. Hey guys, welcome to the outro. Thank you so much for making it here on the right side of your screen where it says recommended video. And click on that and that'll take you to the last video on my other channel, which is an unboxing of an action figure that looks just like me, or my Minecraft skin. It's pretty awesome, definitely recommend it. And on the left side of your screen where it says previous video, and click on that and that'll take you to the last video on this channel, which is basically a uh, Ender Dragon skull sauce thing, but it's a tutorial of it. If you guys have seen it already, um, the tutorial is out now. And if you're new, it's a tutorial on how to build the Ender Dragon skull into a house, and it's really epic. So definitely recommend both those. If you're on the mobile version, you get to both those videos by clicking the card button in the top right side of your screen right now. Uh, but that's it pretty much, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.